So what's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna go for a surf at Caves and then I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna show you guys kind of my afternoon routine once I get home and after a surf, muscles are sore. It's been a long week. I've been training pretty hard so I just wanna show you guys what I do in the afternoons, rolling out the muscles and just kind of getting ready for the next day of waves. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be vlogging on the GoPro. I'm really excited because there's some waves coming through at Caves. So I'm going to head that side now. It's been kind of a slow start to the morning. Uh, just trying to get a shelf fixed for the house. So I'm going to be heading down there now. And when I get back, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I do to roll out my muscles and the routine that I go through in the afternoons after a heavy day of surfing. As well as this whole week's been quite hard with training. So I'm going to take you through that, but for now, we're going to head to the waves. So today I'm going to be taking this blue board down. Uh, because it's a new board, I've ridden it without the stringer for a couple days just to kind of break it in. And now I've put the soft stringer in. So because it's the ISS board, really nice technology. and able to kind of do that stuff so it should be going well and we'll show you a couple clips soon So as you guys have seen, I've just had a really sick surf down at Caves and I've got back to the house here and I really wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about rolling. Now I'm going to take my foam roller now and I'm just going to show you guys five basic moves that I do post surf that really helps to alleviate back pain and helps you to kind of feel a little bit better and get your muscles recovering a lot faster. So I'm going to take you through these five basic moves that you can do and hopefully it'll help you in the future. So if you guys don't know what a foam roller is or what it looks like or what I'm actually talking about, this here is a foam roller. 
Um, they're pretty cheap and they're really helpful when it comes to recovery and uh, just kind of ironing out all the sore issues that you have. The major groups that we're going to target are obviously our legs and lower back. So to do that, you're going to do your glutes, your RTBs, as well as your quads. So that's where um, your bum is, the side of your leg, and then the top of your leg. Now, why I like to target those muscles is because those are the muscles that you're using mostly when you're kicking in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll backwards and forwards until that motion kind of irons out and there's no more sore areas. Once you've got that done, then you're going to move on to your back and avoiding your kidneys at all costs, go from middle back to upper back. And then of course, I like to do my shins. So I'm going to show you all of these movements now. There are variations to these and you can look up more online, but these are just what I found to help me alleviate back pain and just to kind of iron out all those areas, get the muscles working properly again and just speed up recovery. So basically what you want to do is you want to lean back, starting by lifting your leg up. This is now going to open up your hip and your glute and it's going to allow you to kind of get into that muscle and you're just going to roll until that muscle, there's no real tension holding the muscle together. So you're going to do that on both sides. Remember that you don't want to be tensing the muscle up. You don't want to be holding onto it. You just want to release it. And that will release the muscle and allow you to get that massage effect into the muscle. Next, we're going to go on to our RTBs. Now, this is this area of your leg. So you're going to lie on that, put your legs on top of each other and then just slowly rock backwards and forwards. Next we're going to go on to our quads. Now that's this part of your muscle on your leg. Now this is going to be really sore at the start but once you get into it you'll feel it just starts to loosen itself up. I'm going to target my middle to upper back. So your kidneys kind of sit here on your back. So you're going to want to avoid that. They can get really sore. So the idea is to stay about your middle back to your upper back. And there's two variations. So first you're going to be lying with your arms open. And then next you're going to lie with your arms as tightly closed as you can. This is going to allow your back to open up and you're going to get all those muscles along your back that you can't get when your back is closed. So and then lastly, I like to get this part of the shin. Now, because your foot is always in hyperextension kicking, this part of your muscle really gets worked quite a lot. So, what I like to do is get onto the foam roller and actually roll out that muscle. You'll start to feel this a lot into the um, into the foot area. Now, it's going to be sore at start, but the more you work on these movements, the easier it starts to get, and the more muscle movement you'll get. So if you guys can get your hands onto one of these, now this is just a hand roller. This can really help um, when you don't have the foam roller or when you want to travel and move around. This allows you to kind of put your own strength into the massaging and how you get your muscles working again. But it also really helps with things like your hamstrings as well as your calves to just massage them through. So. I'm going to just show you exactly how you could use this. So as I said before, there's a lot of variation to the rolling. Uh, if you go and look online, there's so much information that will really help you and just get you in the know on how to massage and what these are good for. 
If you guys have any more questions, please drop it down in the comment section below. Again, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next week.